just how good are EV conversions? Well, let's chat about it. EV conversions have evolved from large DC motors borrowed from industry made it directly to the transmission with big banks of lead acid batteries to the ultra efficient, absolutely brilliant E axles of today, coupled with ever changing lithium battery chemistries in a constantly shrinking form factor makes the installation options um, greatly improved over what they were. So how good are EV conversions? Well, they're bloody brilliant. Check this out. Yeah, man, what I just showed you is the future. Now settle down, that's not gonna happen overnight, but if you pay any attention to the changing demographic in the hot rod industry, it becomes a lot more clear where it's gonna go. I can only show you the future. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. So let's circle back. How good are EV conversions? Well, if they're done correctly, you could daily drive that car. It is fantastic. That car uses dual Model 3 motors, so it's all-wheel drive. It is fast as hell. It's comfortable, it handles great, it has full regenerative braking, it doesn't smell, it doesn't drip oil, it drives excellent. It has a full 75 kilowatt pack, meaning in Canada we get about 400 kilometers of range. It's also equipped with a 48 amp onboard charger, meaning if I plug it in here at the shop at 220 volts, I get a full charge in about three and a half, four hours. So the car is very usable. It's a pleasure to drive. Now, if you guys disagree, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm happy to carry on the conversation. If you made it all the way through this video, Maybe contemplate uh, subscribing. That way you never miss uh, one of these updates. Thanks a lot, guys.